am Sturby, aka Kerbon. Welcome to my stream for today. Unfortunately, as you can see, I, well, maybe you can't see. Never mind. Unfortunately, I am Susanless today. So today I'll be doing a, another crapshoot, uh, one that I attempted to do. I think it was last Saturday, a week ago today and failed miserably because the latest Windows update, the 2004 update, messed up with all my sound settings. I think I've got them worked out now so we can try again today. Um, uh, my apologies, I had to wet my whistle there. I should have done that before starting stream, but here we are. So, um, as usual, I will be picking six r games that have recently been added to my library that were like free or on sale or whatever, just usually indie titles, um, almost exclusively in fact, indie titles. Um, games that I have never yet played before that aren't sequels as far as I am aware. And... Um, I will give each of those six games ten minutes, uh, give or take, you know, because um, every game's going to be a little bit different. Um, and that way it's, you know, roughly an hour's worth of actual in-game time. I won't be counting the time it takes to set up the game, like with its graphics or audio settings or to download the game if I haven't downloaded it, which, spoiler alert, I've already downloaded all six of uh, the games I'll be trying out today. Um, and so, I mean, the actual stream will probably end up uh, being about an hour and a half at most, uh, depending on any issues that come up, technical issues, etc. So, uh, that's the story. That I, I am sticking to it. Uh, I am calling it a crapshoot video with apologies to... Uh, you know who <laughs> the guy who I think pretty much came up with this idea or at least the name of the idea Richard Cobbett uh, the name escaped me for a moment I apologize there more apologies to Richard anyway uh, so I'm going to jump right in I will not be doing you Murjak's ring because I did actually play that last weekend last Saturday uh, even though uh, it didn't get recorded or anything uh, the audio was off and all of that I'm, I'm not going to go back and play it again. It's just not worth it. So, what we'll be doing this week are The Descendant, in order, by the way. Descendant, uh, Dream Chamber, Aegon, The Mysterious Codex, um, The Lost Sword of Toledo, Miasma, or The Devil's Stone, and then, because of that Yermergek ring throwing us off there, Sinking Island. So those are the six games. We'll do, do them in that order. I just finished downloading Sinking Island. So let's start off with The Descendant and see where this takes us. I got a little timer. Again, I haven't set the timer up uh, for on screen uh, up here. I'm sorry for that. I'll see if I can't get that set up for next time. If I can remember to. I know. I'm awful about these things. I'm, I'm terrible. Uh, regardless, let's see what we have to see here let's see what kind of weirdness it's going to do to our video settings you know these indie games sometimes they just don't really care about people's video settings so they just throw any old thing up uh this one actually looks like it's starting off at the correct resolution here unity game all right good good Episode 1, alright, uh, let's go into options real quick, again I haven't started, started the 10 minute timer just yet, because I, I feel like even though the going through settings is an integral part of the experience, I still have to put, put on some sort of rules, because sometimes there could be 3 freaking minutes worth of going through settings, or making sure the, gra the video settings are correct because like I said these indie titles sometimes they get they don't do the nice thing like this game did here and automatically detect my resolution you know and so I have to do a lot of swapping back and forth between the desktop and the game and fight it feels like fighting the game you know 
well, it just disappeared altogether there. Um, you know, eh, that looks fine. Let's just do that. Not going to go through the credits. Um, oh, I hope I can use the keyboard because they're not showing any keyboard controls here. If I have to go grab my controller, I will. It's not the worst thing. Yes. Um, well, let's see if we can use the keyboard anyway. If we can't, we'll go from there. So starting the timer now. Ten minutes. Don't you take another step. You're not who I was expecting. Uh, the other guy got reassigned. I'm Mia. Mia Howard, check your fire. HQ should have confirmed a few hours ago. Howard, Mia. All right. Hurry it up then. to expect from this game. But I guess that's part of the charm. Today, scientists confirmed we could not reverse the damage done to the climate. Officials have now announced they will present their... Through greed and fear. An inside source... We destroyed our world. Yeah. Ruthless. That's kind of funny. ...continues as food supplies run short. This is thought to be the direct result of government officials announcing last week that food rations would be... Men, we destroyed each other. Today's peace talks between the three superpowers broke down and left the world wondering what immediate effects this would have. As tensions now rise to a new level, never before experienced... Only the strongest nations had a hope of surviving the war. ...one power tries to change the status quo. The resource war broke out in the Well, that no can't be a good thing. when the world ended. There was only hmm. one thing that no one expected that the world would one day start again well so far it seems to be a really well done uh, introduction here if this is an indie title it's a damn good one so far we'll see how the gameplay goes Descendants remaining unknown. Centuries later in Alaska. Hmm. Alrighty then. Giles Armstrong, don't know that Can't person. Can't this thing go any faster? From seven billion people, only 4,000 were selected to survive the end of the world. not like they give a shit. And somehow, this guy was one of them. Randolph Jefferson III. A senator before the bombs dropped, in case his sense of civic duty wasn't clear. Those 4,000 descendants of humanity were cryogenically preserved, hidden in underground bunkers until the surface was safe. Centuries passed. The surface became safe. The bunkers opened. And the descendants began to rebuild. But one bunker remained sealed. Ark 01. So I volunteered to find out why. Hmm. HQ, HQ, this is Search. Go ahead, Search Team. We're at O1's outer gate, ready to blow it off its hinges when you are. Roger that. On my That's mark, so in three, two, one. Big bada boom. 
Oh, there it goes. Okay, good. It does seem to or appear to support camera on us, so. So far. At that moment, I should have known that none of this was right. Admit it. Why? This feels like you're going home, doesn't it? Let's just get this over with. But if there was even a chance that anyone was still alive, the descendants, all the janitors watching over them, then any risk was worth taking. HQ, HQ, this is Search. We're past the outer gate in the descent tunnel now. Roger that, Search team. And Randolph? Yeah? Watch yourself out there. You know what's at stake. A two-man Search team. Him, the VIP, and me. A nobody. Expendable. Expendable. Ah, uh, some things must be made. Randolph, quick. slow down. <laughs> HQ, HQ, remind us. So are we to take our time or get those descendants out ASAP? Dude, we don't know what we're getting into here. Randolph, I'm losing the signal. The equation, you know what it's capable of. Good luck. That good enough for you? So it's one of those decisions, choices that one gate down, one to go. The only obstacle standing between us and adding another hundred and eight of humanity's finest to our ranks. HQ, HQ, we're at the inner gate. Please advise. HQ, HQ, do you copy? Shit. Think you can get us past this? That's why I'm here, isn't it? I'll see if I can get this long-range radio working. Just hurry up. Those poor bastards have waited long enough. He <laughs> can wait until we can safely uh, do this. Okay, so left-click to move around. All right. Some objects are highlighted. Click around marker to interact with the object. I'm not seeing any yet. Obviously, we don't want to go back. Uh, I don't see anything highlighted yet or any round markers. Looks like a, a double click will run. There we go. There's a round marker. A toolbox. Might be useful. It. Well, it's empty, though. Oh, crowbar is in it, though. Uh, I guess we just hit back. All right, that's fine. So, okay, we have to actually hover our cursor over any objects in order to see that. Oh, we have to be close enough as well. All right, fair enough. Well, we only got a couple of minutes left here, unfortunately. So much of the time was spent with the uh, uh, story building there, which, you know, that's, that's going to happen from time to time. Let's look at the vault panel here. It's rusted shut. Okay. Well, we need to get that crowbar then. I mean, I tried getting it, and it wouldn't let me. Yeah, there it goes. I guess maybe I had to see that the th panel was rusted shut first. Or I had to hover over the center of it first. I don't know which. In any case, let's see if we can't solve this puzzle real quick like here. Oh, he just automatically uses it. Good. It requires power. Well, with only 90 seconds remaining in this playtest here, I don't think we're going to get the power done. But let's follow the cable. Oh, there's a generator. And fuel tank's empty. Of course it is. What do you expect? So we need to get some fuel. Um, where are we going to find some fuel besides in our own vehicle? Did we bring some? Yes, we brought some. Good, we can't talk to the jerkwad here. I'll pick up the gasoline. Fuel required. Let's go back to the generator. What are you doing anyway? He's just kind of standing there. Being dumb. Hey, it, it's interesting that we don't have to actually manually perform the processes that are expected of us. They're automatically done. Huh. Think I got it. Yeah, that wasn't hard. For a written invitation? Even this idiot could have done it. 
Helmets on. Until we know what's happening there, we can't mm, take any chances. Should have put them on earlier. This actually looks like a pretty decent game. Uh, I wouldn't mind playing this further in the future if I had time in my life. What the hell? You're waiting here, Senator. Yeah. We've got no idea what we're walking into in there, and you're not exactly... What? I'm not exactly what? Mm hmm? Oh, that was my ten-minute timer, is it? Uh, yeah, you're... You want to be a leader, don't you? Maybe even president. People need that. So you're not exactly expendable. But I am. Look, for all we know, it could be dangerous in there. Now that long-range radio worked up top, right? Yes, it did. So you stay put. Who the hell do you think you're talking to? Someone with far more to lose than me. Now keep your short-range radio on. If anything happens to me, you can easily get back topside and contact HQ. Can't as much as I that. As much as I want to call him out for the jerk he is, I feel like eh, that might lead to some conflicts that we don't need. Well, I still have me. As soon as I get control back, I'll. Okay, here we go. Then I'll go ahead and stop. Uh, this does look interesting, but, um, you know, I can't uh, keep playing. I got more games to play. So that's one down. Uh, pretty interesting game, actually, from what I've seen so far. Um, it's another one of those choices and consequences games, but I'm not, um, I'm not upset about it. Alright, let's go back and go to the next game on our list, which is Dream Chamber. I think almost all of these are going to be point-and-click adventures, which is totally fine. I'm okay with that. So let's... Start it up here. I'm not going to start the timer just yet. Um, well, any time now. Okay, there it goes. Let's see how it uh, plays with my video settings here. Okay, it looks like a little bit low, but it might be all right. Actually, go to our options and you're good it does detect that although some of the graphics clearly were not upscaled enough uh, for this you can see it in this white text here uh, we'll leave all the volume settings at, at their defaults I think that'll be fine we don't have any games to load don't read it I'm not gonna watch the credits right now let's just go ahead and start a new game we'll start the timer now please report the preparations have been completed as planned. As soon as you give the order, we'll begin. Excellent. The Council gives its authorization. The operation will begin tonight. Perfect, sir. Needless to say, no accidents will be tolerated. Complete your task as agreed. Don't worry, sir. The desired results will be achieved. I can give you my personal guarantee. We wouldn't expect anything less. Uh, one final thing. Sir? Keep an eye on Mr. Chamber. Again, I'm still dreaming. That's been happening a lot lately. What? My room this time. Okay. I mean, what are the... Almost every night I dream about the places I've been to recently, recalling them down to the last detail. During these dreams, I even happened to notice details that slipped my mind when I was awake. I think this is a very weird form of photographic memory. Okay, so there we go. Alright, so that's exposition on what sort of game, I mean, what the whole point of the dreams are. Um, I don't see uh, cursor changing at all. Um, it's my watch! Why is it on my nightstand? Uh, I must have put it there the other night. Well, to, to pick it up it's strange, though. 
I don't usually part with it. Clearly, I must have been totally spaced out. Clearly. It's my watch. Um, grab this glass of wine? No. While I'm at it, I'll take the opportunity to chat with Charles. Um, He's always enlightening. No one knows me as well as he does. You're talking about yourself here? Charlie, may I come in? The car's ready. It's almost time to go. What? Now I can't move. I. Oh, I'm awake. Uh, Charlie? <sighs> I dozed off again. I've got to quit staying up after hours. I am confused. Yes, Gregory, I'm coming. Just a second. Why do I have the feeling I'm forgetting something? Your watch? Okay, there's a pull-down thing I didn't see up here. See if I'm able to relive my memories, even noticing the slightest details of all the places I visited me. Yeah. I've just opened very hard to investigation firm on the boss and the only employee, of course. I'd like to wander through the room, but unfortunately I don't have time. I'm running late. Again. How about picking up this slight detail? Unbelievable! I almost forgot my watch! It's part of my style. My character. I can't leave without it. Well, you can. Okay, now I'm ready. Hi, hey. Charlie. Sorry to uh, disturb you. Why are but you... But if you don't want to be late, we need to go. Uh, are you ready? You're right, Gregory. They must be about to start at the museum. I'm ready to go. Oh, okay. Um... Gregory, is something wrong? Um, if I may, well, yes, unusual evening, don't you think? What do you mean? So, well, the fact is, it, it doesn't happen very often, seeing you at the museum. Uh... Hey, that's not true. Last year there was that thing, the exhibition. Don't think it's so hard, dude. Mm -hmm. Jeez. The one with all that foreign stuff. Oh my god. The retrospective on Greek art? That's it exactly. I was one of the first to go. But it was organized by Miss Toletta, Charlie, your fiancé. And I clearly remember that you were trying to convince me to back you up. Pretending you were sick. Something that you refuse to do now that I think about it. Anyway, I went there in the end, right? If you really don't feel up to it, I can take you home. Order the Proud Peacock if you prefer. Nah, uh, I wasn't in the mood tonight. And then the family's foundation insisted. Pardon my curiosity, but can I ask what your family's foundation, the Farcon Foundation, has to do with it? So it's Charlie Farcon, I guess? It donated a large sum for the construction of the new wing of the museum. Tonight they're holding the dedication ceremony and, unfortunately, my presence is required. I see. Okay. Well, when you're a well-known person, it's normal to have so many commitments. Yeah. Ah, anyway, here's the museum. We've arrived. Good. Can we get into the game proper? Four cutscene plays, of course. All right, establishing shot. Okay, here we are. Indeed. And I think it won't be easy at all. Okay, schmoozing. Of course, it's never. Hey, easy. look, a piece of stone. Wow, you are an asshole, aren't you? Come on, are you kidding? This is a head. No culture whatsoever. A couple of statues. They're of uncertain origin. Dating is uncertain. Alright, here. Chat this person up, I guess. Hmm? 
That pendant is really strange. What a peculiar shape. I don't know why, but it reminds me of something. You gonna talk to her or just stare at her chest? Hello. Oh, I'm... Please stop. <laughs> and this is your attempt at an icebreaker? Excuse me? First off, you could offer me something to drink. Don't you think? Please, bring me a drink. Um, uh, please get it yourself? Jeez. I have no interest at all in taxidermy. Furthermore, since I became a detective, what people have been staring at me with suspicion. Okay, so you're a detective. And how do you know this person has anything to do with taxidermy? Come on, let's be honest. They seem to be part of the background. Wow. I mean... A display cabinet with some important items of various origins. There's a Greek plate, a Phoenician cup, an amphora from Asia Minor of uncertain placement. Okay, do we have to do anything with the watch or the hat? Okay, the hat just bring... Why would a hat bring up this? Don't understand. This amphora has no tag. How am I supposed to know what it is? Here's Lord Carolus's armor. He was an ancestor of mine. I still dream of being a leader in the middle of some battle. Sure you do, buddy. A nation earned. Pretty unsettling. A guy laughing. Here's the guest of honor. Good evening, Professor Archer. It's a pleasure to be here. I can assure you the pleasure is ours. All of this has been made possible by your donation to the museum. Yeah, to be no honest, problem. I'm not much of an art connoisseur, but I thought it was my duty to contribute in some way. We must thank you twice, then. You've been the most generous of our financial backers. Mr. Chamberlain, now I must ask you to excuse me. I have to check that everything is ready for this evening. In the meantime, please like enjoy the reception and a have a look at our exhibition. Murder. Stunning. Oh, I can assure Too you, I'm Laura already Laura, surprised. Yes. Mostly that I'm here. From here, you access other areas of the museum. But no, I can't leave right now. Why can't you? Do we have to go through this BS with this woman? I guess we do. Tasteless. Completely tasteless. Well, the uh, time's almost over for this game, so... Lemons. Matter. I like lemons. Canapes. There should be some salmon. Some salmon and... Pineapple? Haha, <laughs> sparkling. Um, it's sweet. Sparkling. Haha. <laughs> Spark. Um, um. So are we supposed really to pick strange. a drink? Okay, well, time's taste. up, so it doesn't matter. I love nice sweet tastes, as long as they're not too strong. So I guess we're supposed to. Here's something interesting. The buffet. Yeah, we're An ice looking. statue of the god Neptune. Strange. The trident. Pineapple. I'm a... Maybe. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, uh, I don't know. And time's up for this game, so let's just go ahead and hop on out of here. Uh, I'm not even going to bother saving the game. Yeah, I'm just going to return. Get on out. So... Uh, looks like it is a, a point-and-click adventure, but um, rather confusing, a little bit. Uh, this It's not really telling the story very well, from what I can tell. And it seems to be the big mechanic is that when you go to sleep, you notice the details from the previous day, I guess, that you uh, may have missed. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, our next game is this one here, Aegon the Mysterious Codex. Let's see what this game's all about. It's an interesting screenshot I saw down there. Ooh, uh-oh, it changed the... Yeah, let's see. 
This is one of those games we're going to have to fight in order to um, get it to play. Because it just... It doesn't like uh, a lot of non-standard resolution games do this to me. And I don't know if it's me, my computer, or what. Yeah, let's adjust a bunch of things here, please. What? That's all? Just the color depth and anti-aliasing? That is it? Uh, are we even... Am I even streaming? I can't even tell because it hides my OBS panel. Every time I... Uh... <sighs> Ugh. Golly, it is, it's a struggle doing this. Okay, it does appear to be appearing, but uh, only up in that corner. Um, for that, I apologize. I don't know. This must be like an old game or something. Yeah, it's not letting me change the resolution at all here. Alright, I'm going to start the timer. Uh, this is the way you're going to have to see it because I can't bring it into just a plain old uh, window. I'll blow this up for the YouTube video so you'll be able to see it better uh, if you watch this on YouTube. It'll look very pixelated, but at least it'll be... Then again, it's pixelated for me, too. Okay. I don't know when this game was made. I should have looked that up, maybe. Um, Okay, so we can move forward. We got an, here again with the weird top right corner menu thing. Uh, we got menu, which just takes us back here. We can save our position. Okay, it's just save game. Uh, oh, back to the game. Okay, it's like wait a minute, it's grayed out a little. No, it's not. Files about the interface. Go forward, step back. Okay, so this is a point and click adventure, maybe in first person though. Which is fine. Um, wait, what? Can you spin the dial or something? Can we also press the letter? No, we can't. So how do we get to, I don't know. I'm not worried, don't worry about it. Um, uh, over here. Okay, yeah, that's nice. We'll look at the map. Yay, it's a map. This very detailed map has been of help so many times. Dude, clear your throat. Oh my gosh. That sounds awful. Can we, can we, can we move around, move away? Am I stuck here? What? It's running at about 2,700 frames per second here. 20, yeah, I mean, that's nice, but... Okay, uh, all I can do is look at the map. Am I supposed to do something with the map? Um, oh, I just clicked outside of the game frame, so now i got to fight with it again to bring it back. No! Go away! I don't want snazz up. I don't want this up. And just want to, ugh. Don't want this game up, to be honest. Um, okay. Uh, I'm stuck. I've, I've looked at a wall here, and I can't look away from it. I can't turn around. I 
time I've pressed just about every key on the keyboard. Uh, and it's, it's okay. Let me go into files again. We haven't even gotten five, five minutes into this game yet. Um, and, and already I'm fucking stuck. Pardon my language. Yeah. Or note, I don't care. Uh, yeah, I would expect to see a step back, uh, symbol. When I zoom in, um, uh, that's fine, and I can hit the exit button here. There is no exit button here, and there is no step back. Wow, okay. This game is, oh, wait a second, wait a second. Okay, you click and hold. I was about ready to quit out of the game because it looked absolutely broken but I see they're used, doing a sort of like mist 3 style of, I didn't say to go museum called destinations uh, part of the secret game. page of the secret found attached to my letter okay uh, wow Okay, I'm not going to read all this right now because we just don't have the time. We're, we're down to five minutes um, already in this. Can we... The That's back what I call a discovery. Sure thing. First Museum keeping some secrets. Oh, my character expires in Charity Hospital. And I notice. Well, that's Dr. Tumblety. Okay. What sensation? There's nothing in common between those things. Nothing really exciting has happened for years. Uh, back out, back away. Okay, there we go. Um, can we do anything with our desk here? No, can't, can't even open the drawers. No. Nope, not allowed to check out the drawers. Um, box, stuff on the wall, bookcase. No, it's very specific. Okay. I got a chest over here. How about that? Yeah, we can look at this. Okay. We have to step over here first. Nope, nope. We can't do anything with the chest. Can't even interact with the light switch. Wow, this, this game is very um, <laughs> restrictive. Oops. Got something under the rug. Can we move the rug? No. Okay. And that'll just move us again close to the chest. Don't even bother. Just operate the door to open it up. So we can look around for the last three and a half minutes that we have left uh, to in this game here. Um, yeah, there's going to be a lot of locked doors. Of course. No other night owl in the building. There's a back staircase over here. Okay, wow, so this is going to be a large building we're going to have to... To go home? Now that something has finally happened? No. Why not? Okay, this is just a butterfly collection. It appears to be completely useless. So far. Who knows, maybe it'll have, actually have some use in the game. Um... Good, good. Plenty of locked doors. Hmm, <laughs> let's face it. There's not much sense going that way. Well, how, how was I to know? Okay, so apparently we have to take the stairs. Alright, that's fine. In the last two minutes we might as well. I have no idea what the story is, because I skipped to over those home? pages. Oh, now hush. Something has finally happened? I misclicked. Oh. Oh. Wow, that was a slow transition. Alright, we'll go down this side. Another slow transition. I can drink a big old sip of this while I'm waiting for that. But we probably need to take go 
through the, no, we're not gonna go through that door. Doesn't even have a doorknob. Unless it's a push only door. There we go, another slow transition. <sighs> yep. That's, uh, this is just weird. I don't know exactly what it is. Something about it is just weird. The fact that you have to click and drag to look around. Okay, that's some ominous sounds. Uh, okay. Oh, hi. You, can we talk to you or something? There's no reason to talk to Swanson. Or at least, not yet. I mean... Whatever. Okay, what's this, the elevator? Is it out of commission or something? Yep. Of course. It's locked. Of course. To go home? Now that something oh, has finally happened? Oh, crying out loud. No. Well, I just figure with only 20 seconds remaining. Yep, okay. Nope. Nope. Why do I have to look at that? I don't know. But there, I don't know if you heard that. There's my timer. It's time's up. I'm not going to really bother giving this any more time, I think. There's no reason to talk to Swanson. Or at least, not yet. Alright. I'd like to get the keys, if there are any in that little box. Maybe we're going to be a telephone or something. I don't know. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm done. Time's up and everything anyway, so let's just... Sure, we'll save our position. And get the heck out of here. Oh, it has an autosave. That's nice. Alright, get the heck out of this junk. Wow. Alright. Sorry for that. Uh... Why? Where is Steam? It's over on this other monitor for some reason. Well, let's bring it back for crying out loud. Okay, there we go. Uh, that one is not three episodes in it. Okay, I, I can't say I recommend that one. There, it doesn't let you change the graphic settings. It doesn't even let you set it to a window within the game. There might be a way to set a config file or whatever to do that. You have to do that with some other games that are actually actually otherwise good uh, but yeah. anyway we're done with that one so let's see about Aegon the wait a minute Aegon what well, sort of Toledo isn't that uh, Aegon as well yeah all right we're gonna skip over that one then if it's oh heck with it let's go ahead let's go ahead I've already got it here Let's see if it screws with my graphic settings as well. Yeah, sorta of, kinda. I uh, don't know whether or not this is displaying the OBS, because the OBS hit itself. At least this time I can actually see the introductory video. Maybe uh, it's a slightly newer game when they've actually done some uh, fixing. I mean, your typical montage of, you know, adventuresome stuff. Uh, minimize that so I can see. Oh, come on. I said, min I'm sorry, everyone. That the screen keeps doing this stuff. But I can't tell. Okay, there we go. Same thing. It's stuck in the corner. And let me guess. Video. Hey, uh, anti. Oh, see. This time, though, I can set it to a window. So look at that, finally. There's that. 
And with that, I think I can change this up real quick. Yes, there we go. I was hoping that might work. Um, all right, so here's this extra features. With these table, journeys with Lido, memories, and credits, whatever. Okay. Oh, I guess this is um, like a what happened before this game thing. This is not telling me anything here. What, what is going on? What? Oh my goodness. Oh, this is, this is weird. Okay. There's a lot here. <laughs> uh, I mean, it might be a worthwhile game to go through. I guess this is sort of uh, what got us here in this game, you know. Memories about the, yes, about the previous episode. Story of Aegon, one, two, third party to the Codex. Okay, yeah, so this, this is a sequel. Um, I'm going to quit out of it because I don't think it qualifies. Yeah. And again, my window got moved to another screen. So we'll skip that one. Um, we'll look at Miasma. In the meantime, I'm going to need to download a proper sixth game. This, this one would be fine. Let's uh, install that about two gigs uh, I think all right let's come let me come back here uh, miasma or the devil's stone okay so here will be actual game number four and surprise surprise it's messing with our display settings once again here I can't seem to I don't know what all these sounds... Okay, there we go. There's something. <sighs> Private Moon Studios. Again, the screen's messed up. Uh, can we go into options? Uh, Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna say no, not full screen. We're going to windowed, my friend. Sheesh. And let me bring Steam back so that I have this here on the screen. Uh, and then let me... I'm not going to do the entire display. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is the Chrome. Why is it not even showing? Oh, that's, that's me. Okay. Sorry, just trying to figure some things out here. I will uh, see if I can get this. We'll just leave it as game capture, that's fine, whatever. After the specific window of uh, this thing. There we are. And lock that and put it uh, in here. There we go. Now we are at least in uh, okay territory. Now let's hit new game, start the timer. Okay, this is an FMV game. Sorry for my late reply. I have been busy working on the release of my book lately. It's not so easy to manage things from so far away, even though the internet has shortened distances considerably. Of course, the publishers would insist on my presence, but eventually they accepted that it won't be before the end of September. I want to arrange the house purchase by then. There are a few excellent offers, and I really like the idea of settling down in this country for good. And yes, 
This is also an answer to your question, which I have owed you a reply for months. I've realized it was much easier to make a decision than to put it into words. I'm going to stay here. Hey, Drapex, welcome. Even if the price is losing you. The scholarship in the States was your own decision, your little surprise. If we'd been planning together, my intentions would have come to light sooner. I'm sure you'll be doing well in America, and the Dawsons are enchanting people. You're a smart enchanting. young woman, and I think you have every chance to begin a new life. One you've been longing for so much. You see, the same opportunity has opened up for me. Only in my case, it's right here, in Hungary. We've traded places. You fell in love with what I wanted to get away from, and the same happened to me the other way around. You'll become an American, while well, I already feel Hungarian. God bless you, you, Jonathan. Okay. That's another one of these types of games. Or the Devil's Stone. That's just a weird title. So weird. Again, we're going to eat up half of our 10 minute time here with just the intro the credits. <laughs> and many others. <laughs> we chose not to credit them because screw them, you know. Empire of the Invisible. <laughs> Wait, this sounded mystical. <laughs> no need to be scared. There's nothing curious. Only that this is an institute for atomic research. Hmm. Did you bring it? Yes, yes. I have it right here. Okay, come this way. Clearly ADR. How many days did you say you can stay? You mean the examination will really take several days? As I promised, we will do a quick test today. But if you want to have an accurate result... Of course. Makes sense. Then I shall confirm a weekend program. Is it the Da Vinci? Marvelous. And you what? could look around downtown. Indeed. I've never been in Debrecen before. Any chance... Uh... Here we are. My headquarters. And there's my only little brother. Come over here, please. I've got to look after him while Dad and Mum are in Svalbard. Hello. My name's Blosh. Jonathan Hunt. Hi. But there's no need to look after him that much. I thought he's one of the researchers. Uh -huh. You're wasting your time. My sister still thinks I'm a toddler. Because you often act like one. Well, that's how we are. Make yourself at home. <laughs> An environment that's weird analyst and office. Not bad. A bit dull, perhaps. Music's okay. Uh, sure, we're already halfway done here. <laughs> Give us a... If anyone, I'm going to be sometimes. First of all, the icon appearing by Vera is a text bubble. A comic book thinks you can talk to her. Click on the bubble. Okay. Oh, I see. Well, you don't even see it until you get near it. 
Oh, okay, there we go. We got a little menu of things back here. Um, save. Sure. I always like to do that. We'll continue. Ah, okay, it shows you the interaction. Meadow has a vibrant there. personality. And let's admit, she's really charming. And very um, off sync on her lip syncing there. Uh, anyway. So we skipped. By clicking X, close the window. We're not going to support inclusive. Did you say your parents are on Svalbard? Yes, this time for three months. They study the atmosphere. A wealth of information there. I can imagine. Indeed. Climate change is something everyone wants to know about. It would be foolish for a scientist to resist such a rewarding challenge. You mean our mom and dad? Learned scientists like our father and mother. Okay. Just to be here, maybe there's something worth checking. Okay, she can look at this object more closely. See, I wouldn't have known to do that unless I hit this little hint thing. Oh, there's more things too. Yeah. Svalbard. Such an ice cool adventure is not for me. Yep, okay. Photos on the wall, okay. <laughs> Further close ups may become accessible from a close up. It's close upception. Or something else. <laughs> Are these your parents? Yes. They used to send us postcards, but today it's enough to shoot a photo and I can pin it on the wall in a minute. Fantastic, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It is indeed. Fantastic. Shame Granny couldn't see these photos from the poles. Uh, turn to the abandoned dialogue topics, okay. Yeah, sure. You've promised some coffee on the phone. Oh, yes, there it is. Please help yourself. Would you give me some, too? Sure. Thanks. How about you, Balazs? He doesn't want any. I see. Let him speak for himself, maybe? <sighs> My goodness. Any sugar? Oh, yes. Four will do, thanks. Four? I mean, that's probably how I would take coffee if I drank coffee. Okay, now the coffee, oh, coffee maker. I thought it said marker. I was like, coffee marker is in your inventory. What? Okay, so there we are. Yeah. <laughs> Take the cap off. Uh, well, now wait a second. I took the cap off. Oh, do we need the spoon? This spoon? I mean, I thought this tutorial was supposed to be helpful. Did I miss something? I want to pour myself some coffee too. Thank you. Um, I don't know what's going on here. Well, there's less than a minute remaining in this little test anyway, so <laughs> can keep picking that up. Yeah, it, nothing's happening here, so whatevs. Um, Do you like working here? When we last met in Eger, this job at Atomki was only a plan. Yes, yes. Everything has changed since, but I'm fine. Everything. Oh, yeah, what do you mean by everything? How about of the CRT uh, monster behind you there. A long distance relationship is not worth a piece of curd. Oh, uh, piece of curd? Oh, that oaf dared to contradict you just once, and that was it for him. Bollage! That's the truth. Mark wasn't willing to leave everything behind for you, and you got offended. Stop it. You don't know what you're talking about. How strange. We love each other so much with Pony, despite the thousand mile distance. But you guys, please. Right. Well, we're out of time here, so. Yeah. Yeah, let's just get on out of this jump. Okay. So that was um, the very unusually titled 
Miasma or the Devil's Stone? I, I, I can't explain that at all. Uh, all right. That was number four. Let's go to number five on our list. Uh, let's see. I believe that is this one here. Sinking Island, Be So Cal. Now, I am familiar with the name Be So Cal. It's Benoit, I think. Let's... I, uh, unless I am mistaken. His name is Ben Wasokal. Anyway, he is the uh, mind behind such games as the Siberia series, uh, amongst others. Uh, but the Siberia games are where he really got his fame, as far as I know. And they're actually really good games. However, they are graphically low resolution. I'm sure this will be no different. I have no idea if this came out before or after or somewhere between the other um, the uh, uh, Siberia games. Oh, shoot, I meant to minimize that Steam window and I didn't have a chance. Uh, well, same kind of deal as before. Here we go. It's kind of here. Yep. Uh, again four digit frames per second um i guess we'll have to hit the start button again i will scale this up for um youtube later on uh, but i can't really seem to do anything with it right now not without doing like a bunch of research to find the config file or any file or whatever and put the correct information in it to change the resolution or um, uh, make it just windowed at least so for now this is what we've got so Sally um, I guess I have to create a profile before it will let me get put on uh, anti scene whatever yeah sure let's do 16 by 9 um, subtitles we will want for streaming at least. Oh, jeez. That's, that's not cool, no. This whole thing is actually squashed. Ugh. Uh, this is probably an earlier game. Then. Uh, let's, oh jeez, let's just, uh... Let's just leave it at this. Like I said, I'll stretch it out later. Well, see where the right across the whole circuit. You can't let things drag on over there, Jack. Is it a murder? No, I don't believe so. Walter Jones was already in pretty bad shape. The heart and all the rest of it. So, just a routine, Jack, okay? It's a routine matter, all right? I want to hear death from natural causes. With no stories, you understand? I don't want a crime on my hands right now, seeing my bill of health, you understand? You're the boss, Vic. Jack? Of course, I understand. You're really helping me out here, you know? Get well, Vic. See you soon. We're about to start the timer there. There we go. The weather forecast is awful, Inspector. It's likely to turn into a nightmare in a few hours. Don't drag on. We'll come to get you at 4 p.m. Okay for 4 p.m. I don't expect to be any later than necessary. Inspector Norm, welcome to Sakura. I'm Hubert Denault, the attorney, Mr. Jones. Okay, Mr. Dolan, let's go. I don't have much time. You can say that again. Are you sure you don't want to take your time to settle in? There's a room that's been prepared for you, Inspector Nora. Unnecessary. If it turns out that Mr. Jones's death was accidental, then I have no reason to hang around here, Mr. Nolan. So, I'm expecting this to be a point-and-click adventure just like, uh, all the other B-Sokai games. At 
least the Siberian games. So are there no local authorities on this island to investigate this, um... Death? I beg you to pardon me for this somewhat acrobatic descent. I had to put this ladder here urgently this morning to access the corpse. Yesterday evening when I tried to help, poor Walter was stuck higher up in the rocks close to the edge. The waves must have sent the poor man's body rolling toward the bottom during the night. We suffered a terrible storm, you know. Mm-hmm. Ah, same sort of icon as uh, before. Okay, so this is us, I guess. Uh huh. Okay, so we can click that, and that's. Hello, weird. Inspector Jack Norm. Welcome to your personal police assistant. Jack, this device was created to help you in your investigations. The goal of the software system is to rationalize the combination of clues, evidence, hypotheses, and deductions, which will allow you to quickly uncover the criminals. For this, your personal police assistant will store all information you will collect about the suspects during your investigations. It will remember their age, gender, and function. The incriminating and exculpatory evidence are also made note of. In addition, it will indicate in real time their geographical position in the surrounding areas where you might need to find them during your investigation. The clue manager will centralize all of the information that you have collected, whether it includes photos, documents, material evidence, or even suspects' statements. In your hands, you have more than a motive for matching clues that you will have collected. You also have a great tool for comparing them. This function will be particularly useful for validating the match between two prints, two footprints, or even the relationship between two pieces of an object. You can trust your personal police assistant to validate the correct hypothesis and to keep you from being misled into dead ends. This device includes a third function, which strictly depends on the two others. It is your progress manager. It divides your investigation wow. into a certain number of precise interrogations, like different pieces of a puzzle. Your job becomes a child's game, Jack. When you know how to respond correctly to all of these questions, you will have solved your investigation. Oh boy, this is weird. Okay. Um What? What is this? Inspector, I'm entirely at your service to answer any questions that may come to your mind. Yeah, thank you. I'm just, just trying to figure out uh my myself actually. That's, this is just, wow. I need you to enlighten me on a point. Uh, okay. What can you tell me regarding the death of Walter Jones? In my no, view, we're looking at a murder. Mouths. I'm categorical, Inspector. I saw Baina push Walter over the edge. The identity of the culprit is not a matter of question for me. Tell me, did your boss have a suicidal temperament? Or was he in the habit of taking unreasonable risks? Or was he in fragile health? Could it be that following severe medical treatment, he suffered from dizziness and fainting spells? What more can I say? You have to tell me everything, Mr. Nolan. No, Inspector. Physically and mentally, Walter Jones was as solid as a rock. He only suffered from a paralysis of the lower limbs, but nothing that could what? explain this mortal fall. Paralysis of the lower limbs. Right. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. I'll take note of it. So, I don't know what that is. Uh. What does all these things mean? D E C. This is weird. This is just plain weird. Since the uh, well, incident, still have four I've minutes remaining. Might as well uh, examine things here on this uh, 
there's no, I see a little speech bubble up here over here. No, that must be my imagination. All right. Um, the nail planted in the cheek. This attacker wasn't light about it. At first glance, the body doesn't show signs of death by drowning or hypothermia. And this injury on the forehead seems too superficial to have caused the death. It's the forensic expert's job now. It's for him to tell me what killed Walter Jones. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, so... That's all. Just take a snapshot. Now, isn't this game called Sinking Island? Sure. Well, here's his file, at least. I'm not going to read through all this. Because um, we only got about two and a half minutes remaining on this game. Uh, there's nothing else we can do here. Excuse me, just one question. It won't be too long. Uh, just one? Yeah, no, Excuse me, I'll this. come back to see you. Uh, I guess he's just going to hang out here while we leave. Okay, that's fine. Enjoy the first. View. I have to transmit my conclusions to Reeves as quickly as possible. Wait, what? Trans? Is that what this is for? What? You don't have any conclusions yet. We've barely begun the investigation. Yes, Jack. Now you have all that you need to answer this question. Oh, so we have to... That's weird. Uh, we have to go through this, I guess. Was it accidental? Uh, no. Can it, Where's the no button? Is there one? I... Well, I mean, we have enough to answer the question. Fine, then why won't you let me answer that question? We don't need to compare anything right now. Oh, okay. There it goes. Is this what the... No, that's not what compares for. I'm just trying to figure out this weird interface here. Is Walter Jones's death accidental? Uh, the death of Walter Jones seems to be criminal. Okay, there we go. And the time is up. Reeves, after Jack. Phone call. The forensic expert's going to have work. The death seems suspicious. A fall from a few meters that leaves scratches and an embedded nail in the face. It's not all that clear, you understand? Jack, if it's like you said, I'm afraid you'll have to prolong your stay. Sorry. I didn't want to impose this on you. You have carte blanche to confirm this. Good luck. Okay. Automatic save progress. That's great. So what was the cause of his death? Well, we don't know yet. I will wait for the coroner's report before I affirm anything. That's a different voice altogether. All right. Um, let's... Yeah, we're done. It looks like it could be an interesting game. Um, where's, where's the, uh, quit? there it is, quit. Is that a helicopter? What in the world is going on here? 
Uh, all right. Well, there we go. The, that was game number five, I believe. Let's bring this back up. I think I did minimize it just in time then. All right. Come on, Steam. Uh, what are you doing to me, Steam? All right. <clears throat> So yeah, there we go. Um, one, two, three, four, five. So the sixth one will be this one here. We skipped over this lost sword. So the uh, sixth one will be experience 112. Okay. Let's see what this is all about. Let me minimize it. Minimize Steam anyway. <clears throat> so that game looked like it could be interesting if I could solve the uh, graphic, excuse me, the graphics issues with it. Um, it could be an interesting game and get used to the interface, which is really strange. Oh, here we go again. Games for all. And uh, changing the resolutions again and doing weird crap. Come on. The Adventure Company. I can't say anything. Actually, Adventure Company's made some good games in the past. I hit 2,000 FPS there for a moment. The experiment, secret surveillance, survival. Um, wow, cursor is going crazy. Let me. Close your eyes. No. Uh, wow. Okay. Um, can we? Relax. What is this? The voice of Enigma. The game is restarted. Wow, this is a weird interface for uh the water is warm. What is going on here? Turn down that sensitivity, please. Good gosh, it's awful. The waves rock you back and forth. <laughs> what is this? What does it say? The logo back there. Ethology Department of Extra Human Neuroscience. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Um. What in the world? All right. I'm gonna validate that, and I will quit out so that I can start it back up again. Hopefully, with better graphics. Uh, good on. Come on, Steam. Come on. There you are. All right, let's try that again, please. Anti read yak. What is the word? <laughs> Can we skip all this? Can you give me the correct dang... Oh my gosh, why does it... Uh, let me go to Steam again and minimize it because it's in my way. I should have minimized it first, but I didn't. Oh my gosh. Wow, I can't even... Um, at least now it's at the correct resolution, but it, uh, seriously, you know what? I, I'm just going to assume that this is being, um, okay. Bring OBS to the front. Yes, I can. Close your eyes. 
Okay, no, it's not showing. Yeah, there it is. Okay, there it is. <sighs> but what's bonus? What? Trophallaxy, dissection, torture, son. What in the world? What is going on here? This is. This is really, really weird. Close your eyes. Maximum medium windows. Relax. I gotta. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna hit new game and start the 10 minute timer here. This is thankfully the last game I'll be doing. Yeah. And I thought that's the same thing as well. It looked like an eyeball um, with a camera in the middle. This is just bizarre so far. And I haven't even started the game. Anyway. This, this is the last game of the crapshoot set for today. Again, with the dolphins and calmness and whatever. <laughs> Sorry if it hypnotized anyone. Pitch sound is not common. Uh, oh, okay. Here's something. This steel ship. Dingy. Uh, okay. That doesn't look right. What is with this flyover business? What, what was that? What the? So many questions. So many questions. So we're looking at a camera feed here that's, we can move it around apparently. We can drag the number for some reason. So is this a game where basically we don't have any direct influence, i.e. we can't? Leah, if you're reading this letter, it means you've survived a terrible event. Everything destroyed. Like we're not the character, we are uh, some my third head, party watching this. My head hurts. I can't remember anything. The camera is on. That means the security system. Someone is there. Behind. Who's looking at me? Nobody. week there what was that noise I don't know do we have another camera we can switch to is this just are we just going to be watching this rather than actually game playing anything I mean who's there John John is that you well 
What happened here? Everything is broken. This mist and these plants everywhere. Do you even know where you are? Who are you? The camera didn't follow me when I moved from room to room. I don't think you know how to use them. Can I trust you? No, sure can't. You shouldn't. I need you anyway. Listen, you're in the surveillance booth. You have to enter a code to enable the system. The code is Eden. E-D-E-H-N. Enter it. Where? Just by typing it? Oh, no, now it comes up. Thank you. Oh, thank you. How did she I'm not know the I only one it? on this darn ship. Aha, a diode is lit. Green. That means the program is initializing. Good. I don't have time to overview the security system. But if you want to help me, you'll need to learn how to use the camera's basic functions. Follow my instructions and everything will be okay. What do you see on the screen? Is the camera tab active? Click on it, please. It will reset everything to very good. Perfect. Oh, I might have spoken too soon. The system doesn't appear to be very stable. Okay. Only the rotation upgrade is installed correctly. Better than nothing. You can install the cameras of your choice. They'll become what? mobile and will pivot in all directions. Let's try it immediately. This is weird. Click on the rotation button to upgrade all the cameras. Or, if you prefer, slide the icon onto the camera window with the mouse. All right? To control the camera, left click on the mouse and move it. Yes, it's working. The camera moved. So there is someone there. But who are you? Are you the base personnel? Not yes with the camera if you are. Nope, I'm not. No? You're not base personnel? So, who are you then? Military? You're with the army, right? Listen, we can't stay in this room. I have to know what happened. I don't know if we're base personnel. But I need you to help in guiding me. Jack. You'll help me. Look, the system saves all the base area maps. Click on the maps tab in the left hand column. Okay. That's the map for the area in which I am. The buttons under the map let you display the cameras and doors. You can use these now. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, this is weird. Oh, jeez. Man, sinister in here. Looks like a war zone. You enable the cameras? Perfect. They're upgraded too? Excellent. Every area is isolated from the base and has their own circuits. It's a security measure. This is so strange. Same thing here. The camera needs to be enabled. Can't see anything. Huh, that's weird. Well, Someone cut off the main here, power so, switch. Uh, probably. Yeah, so this is apparently a... Uh... Huh. Wait, it works. How come the switch didn't? Someone must have hacked the network. Why? Maybe I did. Hmm, this light. I have an idea. If you want me to target a particular room, light it up and I'll go to it. All right, nothing interesting here. So this is interesting then.
At the end of the hall is the door to the laboratory. This is very we must strange. open it. Must we? Can you not go into this room here? Which looks like a. No, it's not a child's room, but it's weird music playing. This is a really odd sort of game. Um, okay, there she's doing something. Oh, I okay. I can enable the door. Well, time's up. John isn't here. I wonder what happened to him. You should look around. There might be some interesting things. To... Hey, what are you doing? I get it. Another one of John's gadgets. I don't even know what it is I'm doing. Ah, there's that. John's stuff. Well, I mean, everything's on in this room, so do what you're gonna do, I guess. Huh. Yeah, I left it on tracking here, so it's... Alright, um, this is a weird, weird, weird game. Um... I don't, I guess I'm saving it. I'm trying to hit save. Um, oh, there it is, save, okay. There we go, successfully saved. I didn't see these things over here. Okay, um, wow. Okay, I'm out. This is, 10 minute time is up, timer is up. I mean, it's it's sort of an interesting game, but um, I don't know. I mean, I just don't know. Okay, I gotta wait for Steam to. Oh no, I gotta move it back to that screen because everything got moved around. Big surprise. Ah. Uh, okay. Come on, Steam. Steam's being a butt right now. It doesn't want to respond. Alright, well... All you need to know is that... Um, I guess I'll just leave it on the desktop here for now. Uh, interesting, that was... <laughs> um, some of the games were better than others. Uh, the first game I actually played uh, seemed to be the... Vim. Uh, the most interesting, the most promising, from what I could tell. Um, but I highly doubt I will ever go back to play any of these games, uh, simply because I got too many games and not enough time in my life in which to play them. So I think I'm going to call it quits for today. It's already 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time right now. And, um, wow, things are just not working right now. Uh, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and call it quits. Uh, if you've been watching live, thank you very much for doing so. Please follow me if you are so inclined. Subscribe if you are able. You can also follow me on Twitter, <coughs> excuse me, on Twitter, uh, where my name is at Sturm B, and on Instagram, where I'm simply known as Sturm. Uh, Twitter is where I make any announcements for cancellations, postponements, etc. regarding this stream. If you've been watching on YouTube, also thank you. Uh, please smash the like button, punch the subscribe button, kick the bell, and all that good stuff. I stream every Wednesday evening at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 6 p.m. Pacific, or 0100 UTC, and on Saturday afternoons at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Pacific, which is 1800 UTC. 
but just for your your own time zone. So until next time, take care and stay safe.